Yes, Special Reporter, the military is relentlessly expanding its arsenal of digital tools to track, target, and terrorize the people of Myanmar. It is steadily fortifying surveillance infrastructure across the country, including through installing CCTVs with facial recognition powers and activating intercept technologies across military controlled telecommunication networks. Meanwhile, the military has one up of collection of biometric and other personal data through we ban SIM card and IME and registration requirements. The military can now track people's communications locations via their mobile devices. This data is then fed and cross-checked into a national database the military is building, which will rack up personal information from people's national registration card and household registration, such as their address, townships, fingerprints, ethnicity, religions, photos, and banking entities. At the state of emergency near and next month, the militaries can move ahead with its plan to hold some election. Digital tools will enable it to reroute self surveillance voting. The military's uh, procurement and abuse of these two is being facilitated by bandits operating outside of Myanmar's borders. We reiterate our call for a comprehensive embargo, including a ban on the sale or transfer of surveillance technologies, equipment, intelligence, or related assistance to the military, particularly dual use and biometric technologies, enabling mass and discriminatory targeted surveillance. Thank you.